Hey everyone, in this video we will discuss finding an effective way to optimize movies in a data set based on the user preferences and the overall quality of the movie in terms of their ratings. We implemented a priority queue using a doubly linked list in Python. The priority queue we implemented stores each movie with its corresponding information in a node. The head of the list is the highest rated movie and the tail of the list is the lowest rated movie. The functionality of the priority queue is demonstrated using a website. The website was created using HTML, CSS, and Flask, which is a website framework that helped us run and test the website using a built-in server and Flask debugger. Once you have downloaded the files and the tools required, run the app.py file. You will be given a link to the server in the Python console. Clicking on this link will load the website on your web browser, so let's click it. The time it takes to load the website is the time it takes to insert each movie into the priority queue. In this website, you have five menu options, home, movie, rating, genre, and next page. The home tab is the default page, which shows the top 10 rated movies in descending order in the movie database. This was done using the k-largest algorithm in the movies per page function in the priorityqueue.py file. Clicking on the next button will list the next top 10 rated movies started from the previous page. If you want to search for movies based on the title, you could click on the movie tab. Search for the movie, let's say Star Wars, and then click submit. The page now shows all movies with the keyword Star Wars and the movie not found since there was no movie that had the exact title Star Wars. The time for all searches are shown in the bottom left corner. If you want to search for a movie with a certain rating, you have to click on the rating tab. So let's do so and enter the desired rating. So let's say 6.9 and then click submit. The page now shows all movies with a 6.9 rating and the time for the search. If you want to search for movies with a specific genre, you would have to click the genre tab. Now let's enter a genre, let's say mystery, and click submit. The page now shows all movies that fit the mystery category, listed from highest rating to lowest. You can also browse through the pages using the next button. Next, we will demonstrate using a binary search tree and how it compares to a priority queue. This is the binary search tree we implemented using Python. We illustrated its functionality using a menu-driven program. We basically created three trees to order the data based on the movie's titles, rating, and genre. All you have to do is click Run, and the movie database will show up, which shows the top 10 rated movies in descending order along with a menu, which is similar to the website. So if we type 1, it would list the next top 10 rated movies started from the previous page. If we type 2, we will be directed to type the title of the movie we are searching, let's say The Godfather, and we will be presented the movie information if it is found, and the list of movies with the keyword The Godfather in it, along with the time it took to search. So let's go back to the main page. If you type there, you will be directed to enter the desired rating, so let's say 4.2. And a list will be shown with all the movies with a 4.2 rating along with the time it took to search the tree. If you type 4 and enter the genre you prefer, let's say drama, then the time for the search will show along with the list of drama movies in the data set. So you could browse through but let's go back to the main page. If you type five, the whole database will be printed in descending order along with the time it took to do so. So let's go back. If you want more information about a movie displayed on the list, you would type six and then the title of the movie. So let's try Baby Driver. This will display the information of the movie along with the time it took to search for it. Now let's go back to the main page. These are all the options for the menu-driven program. Enter 7 to stop the program. I'm now showing the time comparisons for the search features in both implementations on the screen. Thank you for watching.